I've really enjoyed it. Um, James has done a tremendous job with it. Um, and there's some great photographs in the book as well. Um, no, I've really enjoyed it. I've tried to bring some humour into it, you know, whereas the preview book that I did um, was more factual, talking about certain games and experiences and whatever, but this is going back right from the early days of Preston and all the way through. And, and you know, the love affairs, um, I've had plenty because, you know, I've been with, with some tremendous football clubs. And the marriage, of course, is with Everton. Well, it's, it's, it's down to the fans, really, but I think that what made it special to me is, is, is being successful here as a player and as a manager. Um, and the fans were absolutely marvellous during both of those times, and I think that uh, that encourages players to come. I think it, 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 it's down to Harry Catrick, really. I think that um, Colin Harvey came through the, the ranks, um, the youth ranks. Uh, he signed Alan Ball after the World Cup final when he was at Blackpool, and signed myself uh, from Preston. And it, it was a balance, really. And he, he knew what he was doing, Harry Catrick. Um, you know, we went out there, we weren't coached. We went out there and, and performed. He, he bought a balance, and, and um, you know, Colin gifted player, very talented player. Alan Ball, 20 goals a season man um, in the centre and I covered the right hand side. I weighed in with about six to eight or something like that but I was more of the defensive midfield player uh, and, but it was a, a tremendous balance. But it wasn't just a three-man team, it was, a, it was a great side. No, it, it, was, it was a great side. I mean we, we, we got um, Lots of publicity to the three of us, and I think that uh, that upset, uh, especially Brian Lebon. <laughs> he said we're, we're the only three-man team that's won the uh, that won the championship. Um, but, but no, it was a great side. Yeah, I, I often say that. I do some after dinners and uh, do a little bit of speaking and. Uh, I, I always say that Alan Ball was the best player I played with, with without a doubt. You know, we had players finishing careers, you know, nearing the end of their careers, the likes of Johnny Morrissey and people like that. Um, and it was very difficult to replace those players. You know, I think Mickey Bernard came from Stoke City to as a replacement for Alan Ball. I mean, he was a totally different type of player, and it was too much to expect. And, you know, you felt for the lad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I think that when I was at Birmingham, for example, I, I took my coaching badges um, before I finished playing. I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to finish playing and then try and get your coaching badges. I got it before that. Um, when I went to Stoke City, um, when Alan Durban took over after George Easton was sacked, Alan Durban wanted Richie Barker to come with him from Shrewsbury. Yeah, and Richie got the, the offer of the Shrewsbury job, so it didn't come. So there was a vacancy on, on the coaching side. And with me having my badges, uh, he, he asked me if I'd be player coach, which I really, really enjoyed and learned a lot from him. Um, and then we gained promotion to the now Premiership. And he didn't feel as if I could carry on playing at that level. Then Blackburn came in, who had just been relegated to the, th the old third, uh, and asked me to be player manager. So, I, I, you know, I was prolonging my playing career as well as going into management. Great, I really enjoyed it. It was the, the best time of the week was, was putting the shirt on, putting the gear on and, and going out and playing. You, you, you pick up things from all managers that you work with and I think that if you ever have the opportunity to go into management you think well yes I'd do what he did or no I wouldn't do what he, he did and you, you pick up little bits and pieces along the road. I, 
I was I was young at the time, um, and I'd had two two seasons as player player manager at uh, at Blackburn. Uh, we gained promotion the first season and just might missed out narrowly on goal difference the second season. So that was a successful spell, and Everton were going through a difficult spell. And when the approach was made, I mean, I had no hesitation. Um, but I wasn't I wasn't looking for the job at Everton. I was I was managing Blackburn Rovers. That was my priority at the time. Well, yeah, I mean, it, we were under pressure in the, in the early part of the third season uh, when I was here. The gates were down, um, results weren't good. And Sir Philip Carter gave me a vote of confidence. Um, and he said at the end of it, and I really mean it, <laughs> because, I mean, a lot of vote of confidence was uh, um, the sack is, 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 is imminent. But um, no, he, he meant it, he stuck with me, and, and we finished that that season um, winning the FA Cup. No, I, I, I wanted to go into management and treat players as I would have liked to have been treated as a player. And I think that that, um, that was very important to me. And hopefully uh, most of the players respected that and uh, and appreciated what I was doing. We, we needed a couple of leaders really on the field and in the dressing room and uh, it was a, a little bit of a risk with both of them. They'd both had uh, knee problems at their clubs, Wolves and Bolton, um, but they, they passed medicals and they were absolutely fantastic signings. They were risk signings, but they were fantastic ones. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I did say when I, I came to the club, the objective of the exercise, well, objective management at Everton Football Club was to, to try and catch Liverpool and then hopefully overtake them. And, you know, that, that, that happened. And it was a very difficult job to do because they were quite aside at the time. You'd be selecting the side, you'd, you'd, get, you'd, you'd put them out there on the pitch and you knew what you were going to get from them. You know, you were going to get consistency from them and a will to win from them. And, you know, it, it, was, a great, it was just a pleasure to, to manage them. Without a doubt, yeah, yeah. I think that with the um, the prospect of going into the, the European Cup, it was called at the time, um, and being denied after winning the the Cup Winners' Cup, I think it, you, you know it, it was a severe punishment to the to the club. Um, and I'd I'd been in link with Barcelona. Uh, I'd met them. Everton were aware of it. I'd met them at the officials in in London. Terry Venables was the coach and he was supposedly leaving. Um, he decided to stay, so hence I, I, I stayed at Everton. Um, and we went on to, to win the league again. But when, when, the, ban, when the ban came in, um, at the two Stevens went to Rangers because they were in Europe. And I made my mind up, but I wanted to go and sample Europe as well. And Bilbao came in, they sold the club to me. Uh, they were in the relegation area, um, so there was no demand to, to win, win the league like there would have been at Barcelona or Real Madrid. And we finished in Europe the first season, and they were de delighted with that. And um, I had two and a half years there, and it was, it was a real pleasure working for them. No, no way. The 70 side, the 70 side would take some stopping. Yeah, that that would be. Um, you know, I, I can't. I can't really say whether or not the the 85 side w w was better than the than the 70 side. Um, they were both fantastic in their time.
second spell was disappointing. The third spell was even more disappointing. But the, in terms of the second one, it was disappointing the way that um, that it ended because um, I agreed a deal with Manchester United for Dion Dublin. We had the money. I knew that because that was one thing that every football club did was to make sure that the manager knew the the financial side of it. And we agreed the deal that the player was due to arrive at Bellfield, the training ground. Um, one afternoon I got a phone call in the morning from the chairman to say that we don't like the deal, the deal's off. Now I, I just regarded that as to say, well, you are no longer the manager of Everton Football Club. And that's the reason I left. The last thing I wanted to do was to be yeah, classed as the, the manager that was uh, the most successful manager and then the one that was uh, that brought in relegation. You know, um, it, it wasn't the, the game against uh, Coventry, it, it was uh, Bolton at Chelsea. That, that's, that was my main concern. And Bill Kenwright was up here and he kept me in touch with that. And, um, you know, when it was a draw, um, I just turned around to him and he went, no problem. So that was it, you know, a relief. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's just the pull of the club, really. I mean, um, things were going well at Man City when I came back the second time. Things were going well at Sheffield United when I came back the third time. So I could have stayed at those clubs. Um, and then and enjoyed uh, working there, but the pull of Everton was too great. <laughs>